Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. In this series of videos we are talking about immunology and the different part of immunology. Now in this section of videos we will be talking about the T cell immunology and the development of T cell and the maturation of T cell and differentiation of T cell and we will talk about the cell mediated immunity. Because in the cell mediated immunity T cell plays one of the anchorage role for the process of crosstalking with other immune system cells as well as to signal B cells to produce the antibody mediated immune response. Now let us look at the very first thing about this T cell mediated immunity that is the overview of how T cell is placed at the middle of this cell mediated immunity in our body. It starts with like macrophages, dendritic cells, those are antigen presenting cells. So, they will not only engulf antigen, they will break them down and show them to T cell. Now, T cell with the help of its T cell receptor, there is a unique receptor that is present on surface of T cell. With the help of this T cell receptor, this is the T cell. With the help of T cell receptor, it can interact with the major histocompatibility complex 2 or MHC2. Now, when it it receives the signal from MHC2 because this is let us say the MHC2 which is attached with the antigen that is showcased by the macrophage which is designed here with this green color. When they receive an in engagement and interaction this T cell and macrophage has start a crosstalk between themselves. That crosstalk is with the help of chemical molecules known as chemokines. We also talk them cytokines. So, the cytokine release will start to happen. For example, when they engage a proper interaction and T cell finds an antigen, this macrophage start secreting interleukin 12. Once the macrophage starts secreting interleukin 12, let me, let me just draw it here, start releasing IL12, it will go and act on T cell this T helper cell. T helper cell on the other hand starts secreting many different types of cytokines. One of such cytokines is interleukin 2. Now, interleukin 2 is secreted by T cell and it is acting on T cell itself. So, it is an autocrine signaling that we can see and it also starts secreting another chemical molecule that is interferon gamma which acts on macrophage or dendritic cell or any other antigen presenting cell. Remember this is what we are talking about the macrophage. Okay? So, there is a crosstalk between the T cell and macrophage or T cell or dendritic cell. Between the T cell and any antigen presenting cell there is this chemical crosstalk because this macrophage is secreting IL-12 in that sense T cell is releasing interferon gamma. Uh, on the other hand T cell releases interleukin 2 that helps in proliferation of more T cells in that same place. It not only secretes interleukin 2 as an autocrine, it also secretes interleukin 2 and that interleukin 2 can also act as a paracrine signaling because that will go and also tell other cells of immune system for example, natural killer cell to get activated. So, let me draw it here releasing interleukin 2 which will act on natural killer cell remember these are let us say NK cells those cells job is just to find out the diseased cell and kill it. Now, they will be activated after the releasing this interleukin or after receiving the interleukin 2. So, here we have a cell destructive method activated by T cell. We see that T cell is signaling macrophage to engage in more macrophage T cell interaction. So, it is giving a positive signal to macrophage. It is providing positive signal to itself with the help of this autocrine signaling and it also starts secreting some other this interferon gamma acts on many other types of cells they also secrete interleukin 4 interleukin 5 some of that also act on 
B cells remember there are also other type of cells present in our body known as the B cell. So, this in this interleukin 4 5 they will uh, act on B cells and it will signal B cell to get matured into what we know as a plasma cell. You know plasma cell are antibody secreting factories right they are rich with antibodies. So, now they can produce antibody mediated immunity which is a part of humoral immunity. So, that is why I told you at the very beginning that this interaction between T cell and macrophage triggers so many cascade of reactions that not only activates the cell mediated immunity, but also activates humoral mode of immunity or antibody mediated mode of immunity. And we know antibodies are required in some sort of aspect to creating pores in the membrane. Also antibody are help in the opsonization process. Antibody also help in the process of complement fixation. So, they not only activate antibody mediated immunity, but indirectly activate the complement system. So, this is very very important thing to think about. Another mode of round that you can tell is this T helper cells they also start secreting interleukin 1. Those interleukin 1 help naive T cells to get a response. You know once the T cells are produced in our body they are not destined to do any sort of functionality. They are called naive because they do not know what to do in the cell or inside our body. That is why they are called naive T cell. Now, those naive T cells stand there in normal situations. They do not know what to do, what to fight or not. Once they receive this interleukin 1 secreted by T cell, that naive T cell gets the message of developing themselves into T helper cells. So, by that fashion, more and more naive T cells will be converted into T helper cells. So, let me write it here. Again, another mode of response that convert naive T cells into T helper cells, which is active. So, you see so many mode of responses are carried out by this T cell that is engaging in interaction with antigen presenting cell. And in this case, this is interleukin 1, which activates the naive cell into the T helper cell. So, this is an overview of cell mediated immunity and how all the cells come together to fight against the infection in our body. You should know this process very clearly, otherwise it will be like confusion when you talk about the each of this process in much more details. Okay? So, that is for this video. In the next video, we will be talking about the activation of this T cell because you know I told you for the activation of T cell, it is very important for them to engage in interaction with macrophage or dendritic cell or B cell in some case, because those are antigen presenting cells. So, they need to be interacted with them to get activated. Okay? So, next video we will talk about that. Hope this video helps you and give you an idea about the overall cell mediated immunity and what is the role of T cell in helping and participating and producing the cell mediated immunity. So, that is it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get more immunology lectures and share this video. Thank you.